welcome to my easy statistics in this session we will be discussing about Kruskal-Wallis test in SPSS Kruskal-Wallis test is a non-parametric method used for testing whether samples originated from the same distribution Kruskal Wallis is used for comparing two or more samples that are independent and that may have different sample size. Let me explain this with the help of an example. A car driver want to know difference in average mileage given by three types of petrols. Let me show the SPSS file. In SPSS file, I have two variables, petrol and mileage. In petrol, I have three types of variables, uh, three types, petrol type 1, type 2 and type 3 type of petrols. And this petrol variable is a nominal measurement type. Mileage is average mileage given by three petrols is taken it's a measurement type is scale when we have a one nominal data and the other variable is scale data and if this data is normal distributed we must use ANOVA to know the difference between the types but if the data is not normally distributed we must use Kruskal Wallis test. In our case, the mileage, average mileage, is not normally distributed. So I am using non parametric test Kruskal Wallis test. Right. Before I go further into analysis, let me frame my null hypothesis. The null hypothesis distribution of average mileage of petrol is same across three types of petrols. Decision rule. If the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then reject the null hypothesis. If significant value is greater than 0 0.05, then retain the null hypothesis. Let me perform the analysis and check whether we are going to accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis. To do analysis, we go for analyze non-parametric tests. In this, I am going for related samples, no, independent samples, because petrol types, three types are independent. I am going for field. In this petrol type is a group which you want to check the difference and average mileage of toll is test fields. In settings, I want to use Kuskil Valley's one way ANOVA where the variables are independent. and press run yeah here it is the null hypothesis the distribution of average mileage of petrol is same across categories of types of petrols we are using independent sample Kruskal Wallis test the significant value is 0 0.324 we already discussed decision rule if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05 we retain the null hypothesis at a significant level of 0 0.05 let me see the model viewer in this we have three types of petrols petrol 1 whose 
mean rank is 9.8. Petrol type 2 mean rank is 7.0. Petrol type 3 mean rank is 11.43. The significant value is 0 0.324. So the decision. If this example, in this example, significant value is 0 0.324, which is greater than 0 0.05. So retain the null hypothesis. That is, the distribution of average mileage of petrol is the same across three types of petrols. I wish this video is informative and useful. Thank you for watching.